Welcome back, Team Nuggets here with some more Project Zomboid content for you today. Uh, worked up again, not dead. We are here waiting for the cooking show to start at 6am. Got some bacon in the oven, because uh, that's how I always cook my bacon. I know, I don't use a fry pan. Just chuck it in the oven. Always forget we have bandages, so that's probably infected again. No, it's actually healed. Nice. Fucking almost burnt my bacon. I know there's like food recipes and shit in this game, I just never really pay attention to them. You are? Oh yeah, okay, there was just a lot of ads. Way more ads than normal at the start though. Alright, I think we'll try and loot a nearby house for now. Uh, and then uh, at midday we'll watch the uh, carpentry show, and after that I think this road actually leads up directly to the fire station. I kind of dismissed it as being like leaving town um, last episode, but I think I was just thinking of the wrong area in town. Uh, I did leave some metal pipes around somewhere, I think. Because... Uh, if I'm going to the fire station, I want lot weapons to try and get some firefighter gear without damaging it too much. Because I think that's a mechanic. Um, bladed weapons damage clothing more than, than blunt weapons do, which makes sense. It's cool. It's a nice level of uh, immersion. Yeah, there we are. Fuck off. I'll we'll attach one to back and just take the other one. Digital watch. I will dismantle for the electrical skill, though. Uh, it'll take ages, uh, but I want to be able to have the ability to hotwire cars because I have really, really shit key lock. I know I always climb straight across furniture when I get through windows, I, uh, I don't just go to the side. Doors were a fucking thing in this game. <laughs> Nothing interesting. Do I have a jacket yet? I do. Oh, fuck. 
No. Fuck off. The jeans are a bit better than whatever I was wearing. And then fucking. Where are we I'm gonna be overheating like crazy. Um. Can I not close the table? But uh, that's just kind of how I always play. Uh, inefficiently. <laughs> Ice cream? No. Alright, that's pretty much full. And we're over encumbered in general. Another pipe for a spare weapon. Sometimes that just, like, that little thing that unselects for me, even when I don't press it myself. And I don't know what causes it, but it is annoying as shit because it's just the menu for uh, auto-closing. Gun case in the closet? No, damn. That is the place I, uh... I have best luck finding gun cases just in people's closets. Man, this house was kind of shit. And just the interior redecorator. Look at us painting this room. Right. I do kind of wish that our uh, shelves had more accurate display things. Like, you know, it's not a a terrible point. Like, it just shows whether the stuff on or not. Pretty much, it's just kind of a you know immersion levels. Um. Over encumbered way too much. It's all the canned food I have. I don't have a whole lot I can drop, so I'll just. Is that an armory in there? What the fuck? It's not an actual armory, it just looks like it. Mm. Over encumbered to the point where I'm constantly taking damage. You gotta love it. Oh, hang on. Gravel bags, I want them. Not for the gravel, just uh. I can pour them out and then I'll have sacks that I can use to move dirt around. Oh, 
fucking hell. I was just about to start speaking again to say, uh, let's have our smoke and head on down to the fire station. Uh, 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 uh. I'm out here, you fucking zombies. I just avoided all the ones on the way home. Because I was ridiculously encumbered. Pretty much everything and smoke, but I guess you can't smoke and run at the same time. Too complicated for uh, our small brains. Yeah, I think this road here is the one that leads down to the uh, drive in theatre. So if I can't find a working car around town, that's always. At least it seems like a good place to look. I've never actually been there. I just drove past it on. One world where I was testing stuff. Uh, right where I started. But like, I didn't even start in Rosewood that time, I started in Muldraw. I've only ever spawned in Rosewood once on my own, once with a couple of people. And the one with a couple of people we kind of just abandoned because we managed to recover a previous world we'd been playing on. Should make that the uh, construction site. Fuck off, fuck off. Ah, that's why I'm so slow and sluggish is because I literally am sluggish. Alright. Firefighter. Firefighters, they have really good gear. And our the construction hat's no worse than the firefighter helmet, but you know, gotta be on thin. Tiredness affects how much damage you do when you hit something. But it is taking fucking ages to kill stuff when it doesn't normally. Nothing of use in the trunk. But a car that's in 
pretty decent condition other than the engine. I didn't realize the jacket was better than a uh, better than a leather jacket. But the reason I'm taking spare firefighter stuff is I'm pretty sure uh, firefighter gear can't be repaired. You know, if I'm proved wrong, that'll be a pleasant surprise. But you know. I won't bother looting this place too thoroughly because I do want to move here. I'm just kind of trying to be like Morgan in The Walking Dead and clear. Well, that'll be nice if I find a challenger. Which I do want to. I want to find one of the classic muscle cars I have at least. Military boots. Don't even gotta worry about the mess I'm making too much because uh I saw there was some bleach over there. More firefighter gear, that's nuts. What the fuck is Long John's? An axe, that is very nice. I haven't decided if I'm gonna cheese the base or not yet. Um, because if you didn't know, in build 41 at the moment, uh, composters cannot be targeted by zombies. Um, so you build a couple of them, and you are literally invulnerable. Um, you know. There's so much to this place. I've never actually been here before. I've just heard that it's a really good spot. And it is just across from the police station. Which was one of my goals that I have, so... Nice kitchen break room area, which means I do have a TV. And that's convenient, because it's time for life and living. I didn't think I was going to make it back in time for, uh, for the show today, but... Some exposure survival time. Um, for now... I'm just gonna find places to dump all the crap that I have on me because I think this place is pretty cleared out. Alright, I think it's fully cleared out, but I may be proven wrong. So I think what we want to do for now is just. make myself stupidly over encumbered again. Ham and ice cream. I didn't even check it before.
because we want to we want to bulk that up so I'm not underweight anymore and then for now It needs to be done in a specific way to be able to where you can rotate it right. At least that I've figured out. There we are. And that'll do for tonight. Um, I'll probably secure it better later on, but that should stop anything from getting to me while I sleep. Yes, I'm sure I want to sleep. And I slept right through the night because I didn't get much sleep last night. My character didn't go to bed until like 1 a.m. Because I'd stayed up reading that carpentry book. What's the cooking show? Ooh, bookshelf here as well. Nothing of use. Alright. Let's see what we can do about uh, fortifying this downstairs area. That was fucking weird. I was locked into the one spot. I was expecting the uh, the trash talker trait to be a lot more annoying here because I was expecting there to be like that in the parking lot area here um, and then like you know while clearing out some of the zombies I just draw over a shit ton of them. No, but apparently what I am is lucky enough to get a school jack, uh, school bag. Eat an entire ham. What did I have in my search? Nothing. Okay, so I was being terribly inefficient. Takeover of the fire station was uh, a lot less climactic than I was expecting. You know, it doesn't make for great content, but it, it certainly makes shit easier for me to get done. So 
clearing out the remaining ones within the tall fence. Oh, fuck off, no. We made it back down to the house we were in and uh, encountered a whole one zombie on the way. Really making things difficult for me here, you know? Like. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try and grab as much stuff as I can and just leave behind what I don't need. I'll, uh. I'll suck up being over encumbered all the way back up there. Because I think. Like, I know that zombies move to fill empty cells, uh, but I don't think that should be too much of a problem. Uh, just in the less than a day. I think it's like every six in-game hours they have a chance of moving or something. So I'm really not too phased about moving up there when I'll be quite over-encumbered. Well, I grabbed everything I could. Uh, like, it literally won't let me grab anything else. I am constantly taking damage just from existing. I am that over-encumbered. I think I got everything, including some junk, because uh, I just started hitting loot all. Um, except for some canned goods, but that's a helicopter event. I don't know how long it takes to notice me in the expanded helicopter events mod, but uh, I guess we're staying here for a little while longer after all. I guess I made it back inside in time to where it uh, didn't hover around me. Um, it was one of the events that uh, was shooting zombies. So I must have spotted something and uh, started firing off shots off in that direction. Um, I think that that event later in the game does actually become hostile towards the player. Uh, it's They keep coming, it's not like the uh, vanilla ones where it happens once. It's not even like each event happens once, I'm pretty sure. They can just all happen over and over again until uh, late game and I think by the later game ones start after like day 30 and then normally go through day 90 but uh, I have it set up so that they'll just keep scheduling forever so you can see them all heading off in the direction where the noise was This could be the death of me. No. I might leave that there for now and just make two trips just because of how many uh, zombies are around at this point. I may as well just... Just quickly rest here. Unfortunately, this whole fiasco has made me 
miss the carpentry shirt today, which would have gotten me up to a level 4 carpentry, meaning I could build composters and rain collectors. I can still hear them, just over the fence. Uh, we'll go here, seems like there's a gap in the trees, I should be able to make it through, yep. these all out pretty quickly um, but while I'm over encumbered and over exerted it's just not happening more than a couple of zombies at a time will kill me I don't know why I dropped so much there, but that was helpful. I'm still exerted, but at least I'm not encumbered now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I was saying earlier I didn't know if tiredness and exertion affected uh, damage. I am now saying I'm upset that it is. Jesus Christ. I did not expect trying to just move shit from one house to the other would be 
the most stressful fucking part of this. I thought clearing it out in the first place would be, because, you know, that makes sense. bulk and I think it helps me not be exhausted faster like fuck I, I was like oh leaving the uh, construction yard with moderate exertion won't be too bad and now I'm exhausted like not even extremely exerted I'm like fully all the way fucking gone very right, well Just so I can get a quick sleep in, watch the telly, and then actually sleep. And now that I'm not already satisfied, I'll, uh, I'll eat that ham. that done for today. Can I actually just drop down this hole? Let's look. No. Okay. And I think that'll do it for today, guys. A uh, lot more happened in this one than the first episode. Uh, still kind of just cruising with me panicking occasionally. But, uh, we'll leave it there for today. I'll grab my shit at the start of the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one.